All right, so first step, set this equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract two from both sides. I get three x squared plus eight x. Um, that's negative 35, right? Yeah. Equals zero. Okay. So one of the things that we could do, because you guys, and Mr. Adams will do this too, calculating these answers by hand, um, there's, there's a possibility of making some mistakes. And so what I want to do is, I think, it's difficult to check these. Like, we could always graph it and see what the answer is, but we could also do it algebraically in decimals. So what I want you to do is I want to remember that the formula is x um, equals negative b plus or minus the square root of um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to do this in your on Desmos. So open up a tab and please everybody do this. All right. So does everybody have this written down? Yeah. So open up a tab in Desmos. Now what I'd like for you to do is I want you to type in x equals. Now start parentheses minus b plus then you have to type in the word SQRT. That's how you get the square root symbol. SQRT, square root, SQRT. Then we're going to hit B squared minus 4AC. Now when you're done with that, close the parentheses. It's asking you if you want sliders for A, B, and C. Don't click on that yet. Now hit the division symbol, right? The slash. And then underneath that, you're going to hit 2A. And then, yes, we want all of those. Okay? We want all of those. Now that, yes. How do you do the, like, the division under all of it? Because when I hit the division... Did you put it in parentheses? Oh. You got to have that top part in parentheses. Okay. Otherwise, it just divided. It just divides the square root. Right. Now, here's another thing that we need to do. We're going to take your mouse and highlight this, and then hit Control C, and then come down here under this uh, this last one here, and just click on that. And then, if you hit Control V, it paste that in there. Then, if you click on this, see how I have my little four arrows. If I hold that, I can slide this up towards the top so I can see it. Now, the reason I want the, what do I need to change between the two equations if you guys were to guess? It's plus or minus. So I need one to do the plus and I need one to do the minus. It, it doesn't do both on its own. you got to separate it. Okay? Now, here's the next thing. I, I don't know. It's just driving me crazy. I want them in order, so I'm going to move A above B. Now, here's another thing that you could do. So, that problem, it's going to define X for me when I plug in A, B, and C. So, I go back to this one, and I notice that for this problem, now, it has to look like this. It has to be AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So that's what this is. So that means that A equals positive three. That means that B equals eight, and that C equals negative 35. Now you could type those numbers in. If you click right here, what was A? Three, right? Yeah. All right. Now what was B? Eight? Eight, and then thir negative 35, right? So then when you get to C, you just type in negative 35 and hit enter. Completely ignore the graph. That's our answer. And actually, you don't have to ignore the graph. Notice that you get x equals 2 thirds and x equals negative 5. 
Now, how could we verify that? Well, we could graph the original equation. So click this and uh, type f of x expression. And, well, I'll just put it right here. So what was the original equation? It was uh, 3x um, squared plus 8x minus 33 equals 2. Notice it crosses at negative 5 and negative or positive 2.3 repeating. What is 0.3 repeating, by the way? As a fraction, yeah. Somebody said it a third, right? So let's sketch the graph. Boom. We'll put that in here. And we're going to write down our answer. X equals negative 5. And X equals um, positive 2.3 repeating. Um,